here in therapy dog training class, they can use medical equipment and practice them what it would be like in a real hospital. I'm showing my dog a wheelchair to see how she reacted, and I turn around to talk to my dad about something probably totally irrelevant or a joke about how awkward our class is. I turn back around and feel fun to me again, and there's my dog in the wheelchair taking a nap. Yes, in that moment on Wednesday night, everyone in that room wanted to take a nap. But that was not the time or the place. But, my name is Hannah Schaefer, and my passion is dogs. More specifically, therapy dogs. A therapy dog is a dog that is trained to share affection and comfort for those in confined living locations. Whether it's a short stay at a hospital or an assisted living home, therapy dogs are almost always there. Therapy dogs help with medical reasons like lowering your blood pressure, but their benefits aren't just confined to the patterns of the medical world. These dogs can instill a sense of comfort, confidence, and experience for those who are ill or feeling neglected. After intensive treatment that brings, that brings the patient in all aspects, therapy dogs can bring a much needed smile and more memory. Therapy dogs help people physically, emotionally, and socially. A study done at the University of Wisconsin Nancy Children's Hospital shows that children are happier or more calm when they get a visit from a therapy dog. Scientists say that therapy dogs are better than medicine because they provide more health benefits and impact. What's most surprising to researchers is that the positive human animal interaction could delay a harmful disease such as cancer. When you pet a dog, you receive a vast amount of beneficial hormones. Not only does receiving these hormones make people happy, but it also diminishes the stress hormone cortisol. After, after learning about all these benefits that dogs bring to people, I had decided I wanted one of my own. So, if you're out there in the audience right now, so mesmerized in how incredible therapy dogs are, I would have stopped. But before I begin explaining my process, I would like you guys to meet someone very special. Everyone, this is my dog, Daisy. Obviously, you're being very difficult. Okay. Everyone, this is my dog, Daisy. And now I would like to explain how she became a therapy dog. In the beginning of my process, Daisy took a four-week training class at St. Peter's. In those four weeks, my dog, my dad, and I learned what therapy dogs can do and the way they get positively impact several lives. One thing that we learned is a trick called touch. I will hold out my hands like this, and when I say touch, Daisy will touch her nose on my hand. Watch. Daisy touch. Good girl. Daisy touch. Did you touch? Obviously, she doesn't like to be a medical body. Anyway, another important thing that we learned is that their dogs need to be extremely calm and quiet at all times. If another dog is passing through the hallway and your dog sees them, they need to know that it's not time to play and to stay quiet. Same with visitors. Even if your dog is just you may be excited to visit the patient. She needs to know to stay quiet and nicely greet the person. Therapy dogs definitely have to love being touched in their ears, in their mouth, on their nose, everywhere. Imagine you're going to your job and you're just getting poked and petted by a bunch of children. Yes, it's annoying. So your dog has to be comfortable with it because it happens. The certification process for when your dog gets certified, I have to be honest, is very frustrating. Daisy took three evaluations. The dates of March 30th, April 17th, and May 18th. The first one, Daisy had failed by one point. The second one was canceled. And the third one, she had finally passed. Halloween. When Daisy had passed, she received this certificate stating that she was a therapy dog. However, I do not think you can experience on my own. I am very thankful to have a dad who was able to make sacrifices throughout this process. Because Daisy was not able to visit any patients yet, <laughs> now you're being 
good. Because Stacy was not able to visit any patients yet, we were not able to but just because the speech is over tonight doesn't mean that she won't visit hospitals, senior citizens, homes, schools, and do what she does best, make people happy. Since Stacy's first visit is later this month, I would like to share with you other first-time experiences with therapy dogs. When the Sandy Hook Alex Elementary School tragedy happened, Spartacus, a therapy dog, was among the first on the scene. Spartacus offered companionship to the flock teachers and other responders. Spartacus has created such an impact that the Connecticut government created a new law that was within 24 hours of the crisis, all victims had access to a therapy dog. Therapy dogs can also predict when seizures might happen. A little boy named Spencer Wyatt at the age of three was diagnosed with epilepsy and in second grade prescribed his dog, Lucia. His parents had stated that Lucia gave them an extra set of eyes and ears. But Spencer had stated that Lucia was his best friend. The bond between Lucia and Spencer is the bond that people create during therapy dog visits. Canine has the ability to understand humans and ultimately impact someone's day for the better. Now, I need everyone in the audience to tell me if you look at a glass half full or half empty. How full do you mean always look at the positive side of situations, and how empty if you always look at the negative side? If you have full, point your finger up to the sky, and if you have empty, point it to the ground. You have five seconds to shoot. So. Okay, I see a variation of different answers. Personally, I would be glad to have full because I like to look at the positive side of situations, but that doesn't mean they were always your face in my glass is half empty. In contrast to this, whenever I come home, my dog's bowl is always overflowing. We need to use full of happiness when it's like that. Happiness is a state of mind, a point in which your mind is only focused on the positive but cannot break down the walls to reduce the negative. Sadness is also a mental state, a point in which your mind only focuses on the negative but cannot break down the walls to reduce the positive. As you remember from the beginning, there are several medications to fix the negative state of mind. But those don't always work. What I think you need is a nice big hug from a fluffy dog and a strawberry kiss. When Daisy is located in a therapy setting, her dog is making people happy and forget their negative thoughts. The unlimited love and happiness I get from Daisy helps me radiate positive vibes to everyone around me. When Daisy came out here today, all of you in the audience smiled because of the unexpected vision. Smiles appeared across the room and she spread her joy with all of you. Happiness is what keeps, what keeps people going in life. We all need it from time to time, maybe a little more than others. But now that therapy dogs can help with this and my dog has been a part of this experience, I have reached my goal. I've completed what I set out to achieve. So now as I move forward, my dog will still bring joy in people's lives and I will travel that journey with her to witness the long road ahead of us. So thank you for letting me share this experience with you tonight. And like Daisy, please stay happy.